So, the customer has not mailed out before he comes in and we have no information at all. Just that it's probably an e-bike and uh, he's been to a bike store that helped him um, look at the e-bike and they said, you should probably go to the battery doctor and check the battery first. So here we're gonna open it up. We see one screw missing, so someone has opened it up. Maybe him, maybe the bike store. Yeah, it's a halon case with Samsung 26 and a lot of EVA padding and a BMS and no label so we don't know if it's 36 volts or I guess it's 36 volts for 250 watts even though many of these are built for more powerful motors probably battery minus on off switch uh, indicator and discharging and charging so it has an on-off switch which is in the on position and the indicator is not giving any power. So let's measure. Usually you should do that before opening it up but ah, I wanna see if there's water damage and what we have to deal with. Yeah, it's 5.4 volts. That's kind of low for an e-bike battery especially if it's 46 volts. Here we actually have a label. Uh, 48 volt, 10.4 amp hours, uh, 2018. So I believe we had a dead battery or maybe something else like a, this one doesn't feel faulty. It has a USB port, which drains power when you're not using it. And uh, yeah. So how are we gonna measure? I found the positive and uh, battery minus it's 53.55 so maybe we have a bad bms or maybe a bad cell and also a negative temp sensor and no trace of water damage full voltage 53.55 4.04 4.04 So all cells would be 4.04 now There we actually have a full one 4.14 4.15 So some on balance 4.14 4.14 4.14 4.15 4.15 4.15 4.15 4.15 4.15 4.15 4.15 4.15 4.15 There's nothing wrong with the cells uh, sometimes the BMS needs a hard reset uh, if you damage it and usually you just remove the yeast to make it powerless so it forgets the tragic accident that happened so let's measure here in the discharging port still 5.4 so the BMS doesn't like this do we have a glitch let me in the on switch and uh, beep mode Yeah, it continues when it's in the on position. So, then it could also be a defect USB module. Uh, so what we can do then is to cut the wire here. So let's check again. Off, on. On, yeah. Right mode. There we go. 53.55, it was a defective USB module killing the battery. Usually this type of repair we do for free because we really didn't do anything, but uh, we learned, some, learned something. That's it, I'm gonna tell them the good news. We're gonna try it under a load, just to be sure. So why do we do this for free? Of course we can charge him a small fee, like 20, 20 bucks or something like that. But if you do it for free, um, he will with 100% certainty come back when his battery is actually not working and remember that we actually know what we're doing. So we will have a guaranteed customer in a couple of years. So we turn the battery on and the discharger on and it goes on and it's 54.87 this one is a little high.
No problem running a motor. So.